The reason we never see the moon's far side is because the moon is tidally locked to Earth. Its rotational period is exactly 2,732 days, the same as its orbital period around Earth. This synchronization causes the moon to always present the same face toward us. However, the far side is not the same as the dark side. In fact, it receives sunlight just like the near side, it's simply not visible from Earth. This tidal locking is a result of Earth's gravitational influence. The moon, formed approximately 4.6 billion years ago, initially rotated much faster, but Earth's gravity created tidal bulges on the moon's surface. These bulges, slightly offset from the gravitational center, generated torque that gradually slowed the moon's rotation until it synchronized with its orbit. At the same time, lunar tidal forces are also slowing Earth's own rotation. The veil over the moon's far side was lifted long ago. In 1959, the Soviet spacecraft Luna 3 became the first to photograph the far side, revealing a landscape dominated by highlands and lacking in Maria the dark basaltic plains found on the near side. The contrast was stark compared to familiar landmarks like the Sea of Tranquility or the Yutu region. In 2019, China's Chang'e 4 mission successfully landed on the far side, the first soft landing ever achieved there. In 2024, samples returned by Chang'e 6 confirmed that the crust on the far side is thicker and richer in olivine-bearing rocks. Because the moon's far side is shielded from Earth's radio noise, it offers an ideal location for radio astronomy. According to a 2025 report by Guangming Daily, China plans to build a radio telescope on the lunar far side to detect signals from the early universe. Tidal locking, while not universal, is common among satellites that are relatively close to their parent planets and have a significant mass disparity. The moon is 384,400 kilometers from Earth, and the Earth-Moon mass ratio is about 81 to 1 conditions that make tidal locking highly probable. Interestingly, the moon is slowly drifting away from Earth at a rate of 38 centimeters per year.